They really made us from hating the little bro at the beginning of the episode into, oh my god, little bro, please don't go. But I'm sure he's going to have a fantastic redemption arc sometime in the future. Now, the roles have kind of changed between Yuffie and Anis. You know, Anis is usually the one that's like the son that's always the driving factor. And Yuffie is always so depressed. But right now, it's kind of it's kind of different. And then Yuffie's the one that's kind of taking care of her. I suspect a little more intimate year seems to come and to wrap up the season with some wholesome moments. But let's begin today's reaction. So... Do we have to have like a king and queen? Can we have two queens? Can Yuffie, you know, join us on the throne? Oh, did you see her face there? Did you see Yuffie's face there when they mentioned Prince? She's like, huh? I thought we had something special. Oh, don't act all distant now. Yeah, don't say it like that. Even Lane is like, bro, what are you... <laughs> Made in training. <laughs> well, they can still help. But, but before you would like bring us to your workshop and show us your new toys, and now you're just saying nothing, it doesn't matter. Like, oh, come on. <laughs> what does Annie really want? Because this is something that she needs to do, not what she wants to do. Look at her. Look at her face. She's not happy about this. That kind of looks like a toaster. What is that? It's not okay. It's not okay. You know you don't feel right about this. Man, do we have to have a prince just for a baby? Can we just like have Yuffie and Anis be, you know, queen and queen and then just have some random fuckboy on the side just for the baby? <laughs> Tilty. Huh. That's a... That's another option. But I'm just thinking of like, you know, put Anis and Yuffie in a romantic relationship where they're just both queens. And if we need a baby, we just get some kind of... I don't know. Just, just get some kind of seed from somewhere. We don't... <laughs> sounds kind of bad when I'm worded like that. But, <laughs> you know, we don't, we don't need a brand. We just need some guy, man. Absolutely not. That's not a yes. Bullshit. No, we need Yuffie to talk to those nobles. Hmm? Tilty's kind of shocked. No, you're being a bit weird. You're, you're being a bit... Tilty's not happy with this. Huh? What's up? Is that because Anis is showing a face that's dishonest? You know, saying that everything is fine? No, 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 no. Something's off. She's not happy about this at all. What happened to you? But this kind of shows how much Tilty like cares for Anis. Huh? I'm a bit confused there, but it has something to do with, you know, how Anis is acting like everything is okay when it's not. And this is totally different from how she used to act. Oh, some alone time. Oh. <laughs> The moon is out too. It's gonna be perhaps an intimate Yuri scene. <laughs> that shit was out of pocket. But yeah, you, there's something off about you right now. Come on. Come on. You can tell her. Come on. I thought we had something special, Anis. Don't lie. Come on. Look at her. She keeps changing the subject. She's trying to keep run away from like this topic. Get back here. Hold her up. Oh. Oh, Yuffie. Getting a bit assertive. Huh. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> you know, Yuki was never this direct or assertive. Something's changed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. She's still blushes, though. Yes. Yes. Fuck the guards. I just want Anis to say something like, please save me or something, you know? Mm? Oh, you can't show us that face. You can't show those puppy eyes. I knew it. This was a Yuri moment. Oh, we're actually holding hands outside. <laughs> a little hat of the disguise, really. <laughs> and this little hat gonna really help us. Oh? Oh, what was that lady thinking? Oh, two girls holding hands. What's going on here? True, I, everybody should know about her. Oh, the swipe. Oh, the swipe. Yeah, we kind of maybe. Yeah. 
This guy's a little cold, but I'm sure he's a good guy. He's very stern. Oh, she looks so cool there. Any changes? Oh, even he's kind of surprised. Like, this power. Oh my god. <laughs> How is it? He looks shocked. He looks genuinely shocked. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Oh, now you're showing a level of respect. The coolest thing was how she could, like, uh, use multi-elements, like, imbue the sword with multi-elements, I think. Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> Look at him. Can't even make eye contact. Can't even say... It. Can't even appreciate a, com a compliment. But, you know, tough guys like that usually are like that. They can't accept compliments easily. Huh. Oh, that's a lady. That was like eyeing us. She talked her day. The outfit. We're pretty popular. We're quite favorable, but these are not royals. These are the commoner... Right. So obviously they're going to be on Anis' side because of Anis' magicologies. I'm not sure if they know about this, but she's like the people's champion. She's trying to close that gap. But the royals, it's not the same. It's looking like it. Kind of. Who else would it be? Is there any other candidates to the throne? I don't know. Unless this entire kingdom gets invaded, like, who else would they be? What, you think Yuffie could rise to the throne? Yeah, the people here love her. Is he not happy about it? Why? Why? You have no idea about other royals, and because Anis is technically a royal, she doesn't... Like, he probably hates royals. You can see how he was talking to Yuffie in the beginning until Yuffie was like, Nah, don't, don't take it so formally. You can just talk to me casually. I think he knows deep inside Anis is a good person. And that she truly is a people, a champion of the people. But the royals, the other royals, he's not, you know, trusting where they're at. I guess not. She can't just casually go in there anymore. Are they really positioning Yuffie to assume the throne instead of Anis? Damn. She really has to abandon magicology to unite them? Because the royals, the nobles, won't accept it? I thought the magic quality was, was the key component to close this gap between the commoners and the nobles, such that everybody could live on the same playing field. But if that causes too much friction, she has to abandon it. Yuffie won't let it happen, because she knows how important it is. What is Yuffie going to do ultimately then? Hell no. She's already smiling with like an empty smile. You can see on her face. Idia is right. The smile we forced and fake if she has to continue this path. But then, then what's the solution? Someone else has to take up this throne. Do I what? Do you do it instead? I, I don't know. Tilty, what should we do? Tilty, you should be the queen. Tilty. I'd be so happy for you to be the queen. Oh my god, I love her design. Oh, she wears the same thing all the time. I wonder if she's ever washed it the entire the season. But, goddamn, those gloves, man. Those gloves. I gotta focus on the plot. Say it. <laughs> she's so confronting. But she did play a uh, therapist in the previous episodes too, whenever they're like together and talking. <laughs> she's so aggressive, I love it. Mm. I think everybody is feeling that. I think Tilty too. Look at that smile. Look at that smile of relief. So if she doesn't become queen, then who would? They're really setting Yuffie up to be the queen instead. So that Anis can continue working on magicology? Would that be allowed? Maybe the king would be fine with that. Because the king and Yuffie's dad are very close friends too. I don't know. You know what be the craziest shit? If the king and the queen are making a baby right now and then a child, a son comes out. Could you imagine? No, that's, 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 that'd be crazy. That was a crazy ass plot twist. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Hmm. Why can't it be me? I want to be queen! Say it. Okay, okay, but then who else will be? Someone's gotta step up. 
because it hurts her. Yeah. She's only fake smiling now. Come on, Dad, for our Yuri relationship. Yes, absolutely. They can all burn. As long as Anis can smile. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, but... But... God damn, Yuffie. God damn, are you the really the like, same character that we knew from a couple episodes ago? Why not both? Maybe a combination of everything. This is her own will. Oh my god, she said it! She said it! I love her, but, but, but... In what sense? Like a sister, like a friend, romantic intent. The, da the dad's probably like, God damn, my daughter is so based. I love Yuri too. <laughs> I support you. Like father, like daughter. And look how happy he is now. He is fucking miserable, man. Come on. They're in the similar position to dad and Yuffie then. Don't let history repeat itself. Oh? What was that? Who could have been the king instead there? You? What? Huh? The spirits have come out during this important moment. What was the other option? Hey, come on! Who is this character? What, what do you mean? This is the 10th episode I've never seen you before. Huh? Huh? What the? Okay, so based on that, she could have probably been the candidate in the past? She's super old, I guess? Because the dad and her looks like they're like good friends. I, I don't know. Yeah. Lumi. I love her design. She looks great. Spirit? Didn't the spirits give people the contract through the ma the magic, right? And that's why the nobles are like, oh, we, this is sacrilege, you know? Yeah, they make him royal because they have the magic, because of the spirits. A royal dynasty implying Yuffie can start that shit, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it doesn't matter about the royal bloodline. We can just start a new one. So they really are positioning Yuffie to take the queen. Yeah. Dad, you were kind of implying that was the other path. Come on. Yeah. That was the other option that he was talking about in the past, right? He could have become it. But don't let history repeat itself. Dude, you see how your best friend is so miserable. Come on! Huh? There's a trade-off that we don't know about? What is it? What? What? Uh-oh, things are getting a little bit dark. What do you mean? The dad is super worried about it. She, he clearly doesn't want this bad thing to happen to you. What, 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 is, what happens with this contract? Stop us. Same mistake? In the next episode, right, bro? Don't give me a cliffhanger! Of course, it's gonna be a cliffhanger, but things are getting pretty spicy. The plot is advancing. Yuffie could be the next queen if she makes the spiritual contract, overthrow the current monarch, start her own dynasty. But you saw how the dad was like, be like, no, don't do it. It has to probably do with the fact that Lumi right now is still in this like young form. This is probably some kind of like eternal curse where she has to like whoever bears the spiritual contract must, I don't know, have some kind of duty to serve forever to the end of time. I don't know, some shit like that. But hey, didn't Annie get cursed too with the dragon? We can be cursed relationship together. Anis and Yuffie, yeah, why not? I think that's gonna be a good time. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists on my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.